you do any type of retouching work in Photoshop where you're trying to get rid of parts of a photo, um, you, you're probably going to come across the patch tool at some point. It's a really powerful tool and it lets us, it lets us really kind of, you know, mix, mix one area with another area to make it look more realistic. But there's a problem. Sometimes it leaves behind a little seam and I want to show you what you can do. It's kind of a hidden little setting here that will help us get rid of it. All right, so here's the deal. I'm gonna grab my uh, my rectangular marquee tool. I gotta get rid of this barbed wire. Cropping's not an option for this because uh, I don't wanna lose the space down here. So I'm, I'm actually showing you from start to finish even though this part doesn't have anything to do with the patch tool. I wanna show you what created the problem for the patch tool. And that is edit, fill, and I use content aware. Content aware looks great most of the time, but here I'm gonna click okay. And what happens is a lot of times it leaves behind these little blobs, all right? You can see them down here, these little kind of blobby, weird areas down there. And, and that's good. I mean, it got us really, really close. But most of the time with Content Aware Fill, I always have to go in and I kind of follow it up with the patch tool. So what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go take the patch tool, I'm gonna make a, a selection. I'm gonna click and drag it over another area. And you're gonna see what the problem is when I deselect. See how it kind of leaves behind you can kind of see a little edge there. Um, you can kind of see a little edge there. I'm going to do it over here as well, and you'll, you'll probably see it even more. There you go. And you can see it. You can kind of see that whole area, especially when I zoom out a little bit, you can start to see them as well. So the problem is, is we get, we get these little seams. And the seams and these little blobby areas are, are actually what we're trying to remove. And sometimes we recreate them all over again with the patch tool. So here's the, uh, here's the alternative. Let's undo. It's undo, and uh, you're gonna see there's a diffusion setting up here. If you hover over the diffusion setting, it'll tell you what it does. It's not really helpful, so adjust the degree of diffusion. That's the hidden setting. It's not hidden, but what it does is not, it's, it's not blatantly obvious right from the get-go. Think of diffusion almost as a softening feathering setting. So when I go over to you know this part of the photo and I click and I drag and I try to move it somewhere else, and, and you can see I'm left with that little seam. At a very low setting, it's kind of sticking to the edges, right? It's saying I've got the edges on, on this, and then I see the edges of what you're moving this to, but I'm gonna kind of stick around these edges as, as I make an adjustment here. As you increase the diffusion, and then you click and drag, what you're doing is you're kind of telling it to, to use a little bit of the area that's around it, and it'll help blend those areas together. So you can see it did the job even just with six. But if it doesn't, then you could start cranking it up to seven. Um, you know, go through, drag it over this area. Especially, like, look at that. You can barely see that edge anymore. And if you ever do, just, you know, go over it again and just move it to, to some other part of the photo. But it's a real good quick way, especially if you're working on a background like this with a lot of different color tones and everything. Um, that's a real good quick way uh, to go in there and even everything out. There are times where you might want it low if you're working in a very textured area but in this case it's a very smooth background and we don't want to see those seams because they're going to be really obvious inside of this photo all right and, uh, and i'll show you what i did to, to clean it up i just grabbed the spot healing brush here you can see it kind of created a little bit of a duplicate part on there and a little bit of a duplication on there so i just went in there with the spot healing brush and cleaned it up all right guys if you like this i think you will love my upcoming Photoshop system. You know, this isn't just, it's not just a training course. It's an actual system meant to teach you Photoshop for photographers, mostly Lightroom or Camera Raw users, people that are developing their photo in Lightroom or Camera Raw and want to learn where Photoshop fits in, how to learn Photoshop, how to get the best out of it. All right. So you can check it out. You can just go to photoshopsystem.com or uh, you can go to mattk.com slash Photoshop hyphen system. Uh, if you put your name and email in, it'll let me bug you a few times. I will give you some free bonus videos as the course gets closer you'll be able to keep them you don't have to pay for them and uh, and then if you are interested in the course you'll get a discount the week the course comes out and uh, and it is the lowest price that I ever offer it for so I hope you'll check it out and I will talk to you again real soon